we, we started Midphase uh, together, which was a, a shared web hosting company. And I think we liked the idea of the recurring revenue from, from running a hosting company ourselves. And uh, it was, you know, we had the knowledge, the marketing knowledge. And so we gave it a go with uh, about $1,500. You know, I started making sales calls when I was probably 15, selling advertising. So, you know, you wanted to play up your, on conference calls before school, you wanted to play up, I guess, your experience, your age. You, you certainly didn't want anyone to know how old you were. But it took a while to realize, I guess, now we're legitimate, now we're of age, now, you know, now it's, you know, we don't have to, to worry so much about how we're young guys or, or, or any of that. It took, it took uh, you know, we were probably doing a couple million bucks in revenue before it just seemed to feel right. It wasn't until, you know, the beginning of 06 when we started to see a lot of demand and desire from our clients for kind of dedicated hosting products. So, um, you know, we decided that we would do this under, under the single hop name. We, we built a great brand, and in October of 06, we, um, you know, we put up our website and we started the business. Zach spent a lot of his time getting Single Hop off the ground. So I would, I would go between, between the companies, and Single Hop was kind of this like incubator company that had this cool idea and product that was kind of the cool place uh, to, uh, you know, to, to be. It was that, that real startup environment. It's like watching your kid go go to college, right? Um, you know, it was it was actually very hard to let go of mid phase. Um, and I'll, I'll I'll tell any entrepreneur, um, your your first exit it it is tough on a number of levels beyond just you know cashing out and, and walking away. It, it's letting go of something that you built and created. I think that first time that you sell a company and suddenly like that, it's not yours. That's that's kind of bizarre. We had seen some of the challenges with mid-phase, so we had, uh, you know, kind of addressed that and how we built built out some of our systems. And with Single Hop, from from day one, it was it was exciting because we had we had a, a you know differentiated product. We had we knew there was a market there that was interested in it, and we we had spent a lot of time developing that out, so we were ahead of the competition.